the Giants and Diamondbacks play tonight. Pretty intriguing pitching matchup. Two guys that were heavily connected through the offseason, even in the spring training, with Blake Snell going up against Jordan Montgomery. You, you know I would buy a ticket to this matchup being a fellow lefty. Two aces, especially Jordan Montgomery. He's been absolutely outstanding. And Blake Snell, the reigning Cy Young Award winner. This should be a fun matchup. The Giants are led onto the field by one of their off-season prizes, although it was already spring training when they signed Blake Snell. Marte, Carroll, and Gurriel. Diamondbacks have been really, really good in the first innings of games. Ground ball sharply hit and through. Cattell Marte leads off the night with a base hit. And the Diamondbacks have a man on in front of Corbin Carroll, their number two hitter. And there's a looping liner to right coming in for it as Slater makes the running catch as Marte returns. Brings up the number three batter, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Rounds this one softly towards short. Nick Ahmed gets it to second for one over to first. Not in time as Gurriel is able to beat the throw from Estrada. But Gurriel is safe and there's two outs for Walker. Ground ball, far to his left goes the shortstop Ahmed. He makes a little forehand push pass to second base in time. Jordan Montgomery is on the mound making his Diamondbacks debut. A big time lefty and big time pickup. The ball hit right back to him. So Jordan Montgomery fields his position, his first act as a Diamondback. So with one out, that brings up Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores rolls one to third. A Eugenio Suarez handles that. Two up, two down. Two two. High chopper left side. Glove by the shortstop Newman, and the throw to first in time. And a good start for Montgomery as a Diamondback here one two three but Arizona if they don't score in this sitting will have gone 28 consecutive innings without a run here at Oracle Park he struck him out swinging with the big curveball breaking down and in and out of the strike zone three up three down we go to the last of the second inning Matt Chapman and the Giants coming up here in the bottom of the second no score it's one hard down the line that's a fair ball for Chapman Burial plays it off the sidewall in quickly. Good throw, but not in time. Sliding double for Matt Chapman leading off the second. But Chapman gets to third on the play. And yeah, there's one out for the catcher, Murphy. Oh. Oh. He's in there, strike three call. Montgomery punches out Murphy. And a big second out for Arizona. So now Tyro Estrada, the batter. Chapman at third is the 1-1 pitch. Swung on, that is lifted in the air, right center field. It is playable for Carroll. He waves away Gritchick, reaches up, makes a one-handed catch, and that does it for the Giants. In the bottom of the second, Blaze Alexander leads off the road half of the third inning. Uh -oh. There's a fly ball to left, hit well by Alexander. Conforto is back at the wall. That's off the top of the wall and bounces back in. The third base umpire is pointing that it is a home run. Mark Carlson, the crew chief, saying that ball got over the wall. So Blaze Alexander, for now, has hit a home run to give the Diamondbacks a 1-0 lead. You got to see if it doesn't just bounce off the top of that fence. But man, I don't think you could drop a ball yeah. by the fence. <laughs> How it landed. <laughs> After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner will be placed in second base. Diamondbacks have a chance to get the first run of the game. And now here's Cattell Marte. He singled his first time up. And he grounds a base hit to left to score the game's first run. Just a star, Wayne. You know what? He was comfortable at the plate. Being able to cover that velocity and that hard slider and no. Slider that kind of didn't have the bite that Snell wanted. Christian Walker leads off the fourth inning. Swing and a miss. Walker has struck out against him for the 15th time in 23 at bats. Lifetime. Hitters count three and one to Suarez. Ooh. And there's the first free pass issued by Blake Snell tonight. Brings up Randall Gritchick. Picks up a ground ball here, and it's a base hit the other way for Gritchick. It moves Suarez to second base. The Diamondbacks have runners on first and second with one out. Two aboard now for the catcher Moreno. He's after the first pitch, lifts it toward the right field corner. Pretty deep. Slater's after it. On the warning track, makes the catch. The runners don't tag. And Suarez stays at second base. A first pitch out by Moreno. There are two down for Alexander. Smack down the right field line. A base hit for Alexander. Suarez will round third and score. On his way to third, Gritchick is held up. Blaze Alexander has his second double tonight, this time in RBI, and it's 2 0 Arizona. Giants offense has been quiet against Jordan Montgomery making his season debut. Very good. He looks like he's in midseason form. And he will face middle part of this giant lineup Soler, Chapman, and Conforto. There's a fly ball hit to deep left field. Jorge Soler has the Giants' first home run at Oracle Park in 2024. At long last, cue the lights. 
show. Straight down the left field line. The only question was would it stay fair and it did by plenty. Two to one Diamondbacks fourth home run of the year for Solaire. Marte has been up twice and hit two singles including an RBI. I dump this one to right Flores after it he won't get there it's a base hit and it bounces away. It's Hell Marte ends up at second base with a bloop double his third hit tonight. When you're going good you're going good Wheezy. And now here is Carroll. Right there. Right in there, strike three Blake Snell freezes Carroll with a fastball his third strikeout. Marte to third and now it's up to Walker to try and deliver a two out RBI. There's a timely hit for Christian Walker bangs one the other way scores Cattell Marte and the Diamondbacks have a 3 1 lead as Walker finally solves Snell Walker will hold it second back to back two out singles a run already in and here comes Grichik who mashes lefties there's a line drive and a base hit for Randall Grichik that will score one more as Walker comes around Suarez might score two he's getting the green light Conforto's three is coming in no relay to the plate two run double for Randall Grichik and the Diamondbacks have taken a five to one lead Had another rough one and a sour ending for Snell who allows three runs four hits here in the fifth I'm curious if he does get him quick here if he'll let him go out for the seventh says there's a first pitch ground ball to second Marte's got it throw to first in time and the inning is over so it took all of five pitches for Montgomery to get through the sixth, and we go to the seventh. And now the batter is Moreno. Base is loaded. Swinging a ball hit well, left center field. This one is going to get down, and it's going to go to the wall. Two runs are going to score. Gritchick will be held up at third, and it's now a 7-1 to one Diamondback lead. A four-pitch walk to reload the bases, and that brings up the shortstop, Newman. There's a line drive and a base hit for Newman. The Diamondbacks keep adding on. Now the ball mishandled by Fitzgerald in center field. That scores a second run. Grichik and Moreno both come win, and it's all Arizona tonight. They lead nine to one. Fourteenth hit in this game. Four of them have been by this man, Cattell Marte. It's a ground ball to second as the Giants turn a double play to win the inning. And such a large lead. D-backs might just shut down the running game up by eight. Guriel comes to the plate. Guriel, there's a deep shot to left field. That is going to be off the base of the left field wall. Carroll going to be waved around third as the throw goes into second. And even though Guriel's held it first, it is an RBI single. Been Pavin back. Said he, he earned the ability to come back. He's going to get a lot of at-bats. And Pavin swings, ground ball right side, diving his floor as the first baseman, throws to second for one, and the throw to first not in time. It'll be an RBI fielder's choice for Pavin as McCarthy scores, and now a 10-run lead for the Diamondbacks. Base is loaded, one out, the batter is Blaze Alexander. There's a swing and a high fly ball, deep right field, going back Slater, turning, looking, and it's gone! A grand slam for Blaze Alexander to the opposite field. The Diamondbacks roughing up the Giants to the tune of 15 to 1. At number one, and here comes a Eugenio Suarez. Oh my goodness. Suarez hits one to the left field corner. Carroll will be sent home. And McCarthy. Uh -oh. <laughs> McCarthy will just pull up at second base. So Suarez gets an RBI for that. And it's 16 to 1. There's a liner pass to Estrada in the right center field. That will score another run. And Suarez goes to third. So it's an RBI for Moreno, his third tonight. Diamondbacks coming into this one had a run differential of positive 14. Third in the division. They have a chance to be first in the National League by jumping up to a plus 30 as there's a ground ball to third. Backhanded by Suarez and the throw in time ball game over and the Diamondbacks dominate the Giants and Blake Snell with a convincing victory.